feel like you're in the Matrix, the craziest thing just happened. I saw these dope markers, but some of my favorite artists posted some new drawings online and they were using these markers and I've never seen these markers before. Acrylic markers with a brush tip, that sounds crazy to me. I might be the only one who doesn't know about this or never seen this before, but it's new to me. I only know about the markers with the hard tips. So what was crazy is I saw these and I was gonna email the company. And they'd be like, hey, I saw your markers. They look really cool, can I try a couple? And before I could even write them, they had already wrote me saying they have a new set they like my content and they wanted to send me some. So I was like, you know what, I do. And they said if I can give them a review. So I was like, yeah, I can give you a review. So I'm gonna give you as an honest review. They sent me a package. It looks bigger than the markers. So I'm thinking they sent me some extra stuff, we'll see. But I'm gonna draw on a canvas panel, a wood panel, and I'll do a page in my sketchbook. We're doing all Pokemon. I'll probably do a big Gengar right here. We're doing all Pokemon drawings, Pokemon thing, and we're gonna do a fake mon also. And then I'll let you guys know if the markers are worth it, do they work good, do they work well, or they, how do they react to the paper, the canvas, and all that stuff. And then, uh, I don't know, let's talk about it. All right, guys, I still don't have a mic, so we're doing this. I don't feel like we're, we can invest in a mic yet, but if uh, we continue this momentum of posting every week, I feel like one day we'll, we'll get a new mic. I promise you guys, okay? Oh my gosh. Oh my, I think they sent me a sketchbook. Oh, they did. Bro. Artex, man. Oh my gosh. This thing is like, I I, I just love sketchbooks. I, I don't I just, I would collect blank sketchbooks if I could. This one is like, oh my gosh. I'm about to draw Gengar in here or something. I'm about to draw the first Pokemon in here, I think. It's so like sparkly. Okay, we got that. We got the little packing slip that says we have a premium 60 sheet hardcover, 60 to oh, 120 by front back, 180 GSM thick acid free drawing paper, Artex 60 colors, acrylic paint pens, paint markers, oh, so we have 60, 60 acrylic markers, and then 126 colored pencils. Okay, let's crack these open. So we have 126 colored pencils. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do acrylic and then I'm gonna go over it with uh, some color pencils. Oh my gosh, 120. I've been needing color pencils because I love painting with gouache and then going over it with color pencil. So this is gonna be dope. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna love it. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped, dude. I can't even explain. And then these must be the markers. Oh man, I love the packaging. This is 60 acrylic markers, but a water-based brush tip. The brush tip is what's tripping me out. I don't know how it's gonna work. Bright and opaque, available. Let's test these out. Oh, wow. Okay, box. I love how the box is like a display on its own. Comes with these, I assume you have to put them on yourself. Oh, a thank you card. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Artix. Thank you. Okay, I was gonna put all the stickers on, but I just, I just want to draw. So let's, uh, let's start off with the wooden canvas. We're gonna draw Gengar super big on here. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let's start with the sketch. I don't have any plans. I know I just want to do a giant Gengar right here. So maybe just like a front-facing, floating look or something. All right, time lapse. Okay, I finished the sketch. Now I'm gonna do some swatches. We need purples. I'm doing a minimal color palette, so I only want purples. And then I'm gonna do the background, maybe like a blue, pastel blue or something like that. Let's see. We have three, four different, five different purples to choose from. So I'm just gonna grab, I have to remember to put these back in order because this is, well, I didn't put the, the tab on it, but this one is, I believe this one's 45. So, oh, oh. It's so buttery. Oh my god, I don't, I can't comprehend, like, it's literally like butter. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. All right, this is 46. This one should be a little darker. Oh my gosh, it's so, like, if you were to draw with butter, I feel like this is what it would be like. It's so creamy. I can't even explain, like, all right, okay, I'm um, just gonna swap, I'm gonna keep swatching, time lapse, time lapse of me swatching. Okay, I swatched all my purples, the only thing I can explain this to is butter, like, it just like melts into the paper and it's, it's like thick. Oh my 
I don't know, it doesn't bleed. It's not bleeding through my sketchbook. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain. It doesn't seem real. How does it feel? Dried super fast. It doesn't really like have a texture really. I don't know. Let's let's do this again, guys. This is crazy. I don't this is cool for so far. I love these so far. Like, I need more. So I think I'm gonna start lightest with the 41, and I'm just gonna do the whole thing. Hopefully this works on wood panel. This isn't gesso, gesso, or whatever. I don't have any primer, anything on it. It's just straight up wood. So yeah, this is what I thought would happen. It's like soaking into the wood. But I knew I knew it was gonna happen. That's what happens to all the paint. Soaks into the wood, but I like it though. Okay, I stopped right there because this color's a little bit too light for the wood. I think I'm gonna fill it in with a darker color. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then uh, we'll get onto the shadows. Here's where we're at so far. It's soaking into the wood a lot, which I knew was gonna happen. I just wanted to test out the thickness, the opaqueness on wood, but I kind of like it because I have an idea. But just, just trust the process. It's gonna be, it's gonna be sick. I promise you. Okay, this is what we have so far. It's basically done. I just need to do a background, which I'll use another paint for because this will probably take a long time if I use the pens and it will probably use up all my ink to fill this background, but I think I'm gonna do a red background. But now let's go over it with the uh, color pencils. Add some detail. We got the color pencils open. I'm hoping they're sharp and I haven't checked yet, but we're just gonna hit over all the details, add some shadows, little sketchy vibes to it. We're gonna go with this. Should we swatch? Let's swatch. I'm gonna swatch. Let's see what we got here. This is a doesn't say. Oh, Parma Violet. Here's what I like to do. I just like to add a little like. This is what I like to do with my digital art too. I just go over like the whole area with a little messy, sketchy texture. I love the way this pencil draws on wood. It's so, it's smooth like the markers, but it's like, has that grit, like texture. I'm trying to go with the curvature of his body, because he's like, wow. I was gonna say, I think I need to sharpen it, but it, Kind of like it flat. Okay, after I finish the base color texture, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker color, ultramarine violet. And I'm just gonna hit like his leg, cause his leg I feel like would be in shadow. So I'm gonna give that a little bit of a darker texture. And you would think this on wood would not work because it's colored pencils, but it actually, I feel like I prefer the way it fills over paper. I just like getting like a super scratchy texture. And I feel like his tail would have a texture, darker texture. And also his little ear flap or whatever this is up here would have a little bit of a texture. But man, I haven't used color pencils in so long, but I love these so much so good and maybe like a little bit I just blend it a little bit
Okay, the first piece is done. I went over the background with like red. I feel like red and purple just pop together. I can still see all the grain, the wood grain. I like that though, because it's it's not like a, a regular canvas, but I don't know if you guys could see all the texture that I added with the uh, color pencils. I like that because it gives me like a, it gives me like a kid's book illustrator vibe, which I love. I would, I would love to do a whole, like a whole children's book with these markers and, and these pencils. But so far I love everything. Um, the only thing I don't like is this thing where you have to put the stickers on the markers and you don't know what color obviously like you just look at it like this is blue but like what blue is it i mean well it's f66 because i put that sticker on there but if i didn't have that sticker and i lost the blue like in a pile of other blues like let me see there's two blues here that are similar these two are almost identical and i don't know well i know they're 30 and 32 because that's how they were placed in the box but I don't know if I just put them back without paying attention to how I got them. I would not know which color was which. And that has to be my only gripe so far. Like they weigh like like on paper, the way the acrylics, I, I don't know. I'm telling you, it's, it's like butter. That's the only way to explain it. It's literally like drawing with butter and you won't know it until you draw with it. Cause I did, I did another drawing with a different acrylic marker brand and it like kind of eats the paper like it's like the paper gets caught up in the nib and it doesn't come out smooth but this one does it's smooth another problem i had was with i think the 26 on the tongue when i was coloring it it felt like it was running out of ink but on paper it didn't so i think the wood grain was just absorbing it all all the ink so i wouldn't recommend next time if i did wood grain i would probably gesso it or put some kind of primer first but so far I love them, They're, I highly recommend them. If you're in the market for markers or anything like traditional pencils, I would say give them a try. I'm gonna do a couple more drawings and I'll give you guys my full thoughts at the end, but I highly recommend them. Okay, for my next drawing, I think I'm gonna do a Mimikyu on a on a canvas panel. This one's like pre-prepped, so I don't think the ink will soak in and I think we should be good. And Okay, it's kind of like an off yellow, so we're gonna try. This yellow's too bright. We're gonna try swatching some different yellows. I mean, we might have to go with a full on yellow, yellow. There's no like off yellows. There's a gold. Let me try this cream one real quick. It's a little cream. That's a little too cream. Uh, I think we should have to go with the regular, schmegular. I think we should go with the regular, like, pastel yellow, which would be, um, 03, I'm thinking, I can't even read it, it's so bright. Anyways, I'm just gonna go with this yellow, but also we have this green sketch. So, these are pretty opaque. Let's see how good they cover up this green sketch. I'm pretty sure it'll seep through because it's just yellow. You usually have to do multiple yellow layers of yellow. I'm gonna try to erase a little bit of the green and then we'll cover that up with the yellow and hopefully it looks good. Okay, most of it's gone. Let's start painting it over. Man, I still can't get over how like he's right. It's so like buttery. Like I'll never, you'll never understand until you actually I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, it's kind of like, I would say maybe writing with like lipstick or something like that. But if the lipstick was like super creamy and just melted into the canvas. Yeah, I think that's probably like the closest thing I can think of. Okay, so here's how it looks after one coat. You can still see the green. It has to dry also. You can still see the green, but it is super opaque. Honestly, if I would have did like a regular pencil sketch underneath and then erased it. Yeah, I don't think you would see any of those lines, but I like the sketchy lines because you guys know I go over it with a color pencil and make it look all sketchy anyway. So that's fine with me. I like that. I like the texture. The canvas, it works on the canvas super well. So I think I'm gonna get some more of these canvases because I like these because they're light. They're not like regular canvases where they're super thick. I think I'm gonna make a bunch of these, a bunch of Pokemon maybe, and then I'll take them with me to my next like convention or something and sell originals. 
I don't know. If you guys want these ones, I'm gonna put them in my description or something. You guys could grab them. Here's how it looks before I add my color pencil. I don't know what color background I want to do. I think I just want to do like a little box. But I'm gonna add some yellow textures. And but man, that black is super opaque. I love it so much. Still kind of wet, so you can see it shine. But mm, that black, I don't even know, man. That, that black is so dark and opaque. It's just like, oh man, it's like butter. That's all I can say. It's like butter. Okay, so I went ahead and taped off the edges because I don't want to do the whole background, but I want to do, I don't know if it's going to look good or bad because I'm just winging it, but I'm going to do this like purple. It's kind of like a lilac. I feel like when I think of this character, I think of Halloween. I feel like purple is like Halloween. I might be wrong, but uh, let's, and you know what? I like it actually. It looks fine. Mm, I just hate filling in the backgrounds with this, these markers because I feel like I'm gonna waste all my ink. But it's okay. It's okay. We're not wasting anything because we're making art, okay? Just think about it like that. I think this is the color I said earlier that it felt like it was running out already. I really love the way these write. I can't wait to draw in my sketchbook with these. That's gonna be the next, the next one. I'm just gonna do an up, down, vertical brush strokes, and then if whatever I miss, if I don't fill it in completely, I want to keep it that way. Like it's super sketch. I'm gonna go over the blacks for sure. That's how it looks. Now let's add some texture and then uh, go over the blacks and then we're done. Okay, I think I'm gonna add some texture with this light yellow pencil. I'm just gonna do like my scribblies. Just get some texture in there. It's not really gonna change nothing too much because it's the yellow on yellow, but I can see it. But on camera, I don't think you can really see it. But I like it. I like the vibes it's given. Okay, we finished this one. The textures are fine. I love it. So far, this, this might be my favorite one. Well, we only, we only done two, but this might be my favorite one. Uh, this one's cool, but now that I'm looking at it, compared to this one, it didn't come out the way I thought it was gonna come out. That one's still cool. That's on a wood panel. This is a canvas panel. Favorite one. Uh, let's do the next one. The one I'm most excited for, the sketchbook one. Let's go. So for the next drawing, I'm going to be doing it in my sketchbook, but I'm going to be using my sketchbook and not the one that they gave me. They gave me this one, which is super thick, the paper, but I feel like this one's more accessible to the public. So you guys can just get this one at Michael's for like five or six bucks or something like that. So I'm going to draw on this one and we're going to do another Pokemon, but we're going to do a fake mon. Um, I'm gonna look up something on, I'm gonna pull up an image, I'll probably put it on the side. I'm gonna make a fake mod real quick and I'm gonna draw that fake mod in my style right here, boom, using markers. Okay, so I got this one, it looks like Haunter, I think Geodude, my champ, I wanna say. We're gonna draw this one in, I like, I like the green. Let's, let's, give, let's give it a try. Okay, we have the sketch. Let's color it. See, we have these greens. Okay, I don't have the exact green, but this one's kind of like the green, green blue. So we're gonna go with this color. And just like I thought, buddy. I can still see the liner underneath. So it's not too opaque. At least not yet.
Okay, first coat is done. Let's add some shadows or something. So I think keeping up with the green, I got this a little bit darker green. Well, it's pretty dark. I'm just gonna get all the undersides where a shadow might be. And then I'm gonna go over it again with like black or something. I just wanna get them. I just wanna get the grooves. It's pretty, I can see my streaks a lot. Mm, it doesn't bleed at all. Mm, texture, there's not really that much texture. There's a little bit, but if I like brush it off, it's not there. But the darker colors are definitely more opaque than the light colors. Like this green, I cannot see anything under the green, but this like light blue, I can see all my streaks. I'm thinking if I went over it with like another layer, I might cover it up, but I like I like this look. So I'm gonna go over with a pencil and just make it a little bit more sketchy looking and, and goofier, you know, you know what I like. Okay, I made it look textured. Now I'm gonna add the uh, black outline. Okay, this black is like super opaque. This is like my favorite so far. Well, all the dark colors were pretty good. But obviously, the darker colors are going to be way more opaque. But this one, I just love it. So, it just oozes, man. It just oozes. Okay, uh, time lapse. We finished the last drawing, which was a fake Mon, and he looks a little bit like Haunter and Geodude. I'm not sure. I forgot what other characters there was. But he kind of has like a little fart gassy trail, but it's supposed to be a tail. But I like to think it's like gas, like a gas fart, whatever. He's like toxic color green. I love the greens we chose, the texture. You can't really feel anything. I did like a cool little texture with the color pencil so it looks a little, little more toxic. But let me show you the other paintings. I also did one more drawing right here of uh, myself, a little self portrait. He's a little, he's a little uh, base guy hugging the world. I try to do a minimal color palette, so I only used I think four colors. I used two greens, two blues, and then I went over it with color pencils. Add a little bit of texture. I like this one a lot. I might make this my profile picture. Honestly, kind of like it. Anyways, we have those. And then we have the first painting that we did, which I love. Man, this is pretty cool. I love the texture on this one. When I did the background also, I try to do thick brush strokes so it has a lot of globs of paint, so it has a little texture also. And then I have this one, which is probably my favorite. This is on the canvas panel. The texture's cool. It's like, you can't even feel the paint. Like, you know, some other paint pens, you could feel like the grittiness or a little bit comes off. This is like super cool. I just wish I had the exact yellow, like the off-white yellow. I don't have that color. I don't know if they even have it. They might, they have another box set, but man, that's 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 good, that's nice. I can't fit them all on screen, but this has to be my favorite one on paper. It's like super, the paper is not that thick. It doesn't bleed through. It doesn't like eat up the paper. It doesn't, the lighter colors aren't super opaque, but the dark colors are like this dark green and this blue, they're like super duper. They're like super opaque. Like So if you're gonna be coloring on paper, I would recommend using the darker colors. Or if you like me and you like the little texture, don't even worry about it. Um, on the canvas, perfect. This one looks good, feels good. Kinda, kinda bubbles the paper a little bit, but not too bad. And then on canvas, so you can also see through, but it's also that it's wood and it just absorbs everything. But I love the way this one came out. I'll probably, I'm gonna throw these two on my shop if you guys wanna grab them. Um, I think it'll be, I think it'll be cool if these got sent to a home for the Pokemon lovers, but here's all the art. I don't have a super big critique on these markers. I love them so much. The only thing I hate is the markers are not labeled. I don't know which color like this is, for example. You have to put on your own label, but if I didn't put on my own labels and I mixed them up, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I would never know which is which. The color pencils, I love them because they they go on top of the acrylics like perfectly, and that's what I love. And that's what I love to do when I use paint markers. 
So if you're in the market for paint markers or pencils, I feel like these are I feel like these are way more affordable and you're getting super high quality paint markers. And the tip, the brush tip is it's still crazy me that you don't have to click the pen down to get the ink flowing. And just the way the brush tip feels, but I think it's like 50 bucks for 60 pens. So if you're getting like another brand of paint markers, it'd be like four bucks per pen five of them for 20 or something like that and this is a way better deal you're getting 60 colors for 50 and plus they have like a code right now for like three dollars off your first order or something so i'll put the links down below um i highly recommend it all my future traditional art is going to be using these materials until i don't have any more which i'm kind of sad that these are going to run out another problem i had i don't know if it's just my set but some of the pens felt like they were running out of ink already um this blue that i was using i felt like it was running out of ink and then a couple of the purples um, uh, one of the other brighter colors, but that could just be mine, my set. It could just dried out fast, but I don't know. If you get a set, please let me know. I would just, that's probably just one more small gripe that I have. Everything else was perfect. So I'll put a link down in the description. You guys can check them out. If you guys do check them out, please let me know how you feel. I love them. I'm going to be using these for the rest, the rest of the pages of my sketchbook. I only have a couple. It's going to be all using all these materials, the pencils and the markers. Just what should I draw? Tell me what you want to see. Should I feel a little bit more Pokemon? I don't know. I like I like this kind of stuff. Anyways, thank you Artix for sending me these. Um, I really, really love them. Like I can't even I like really, really love these markers. And it's exactly from the images I saw. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. And I can't wait to just create more of the I'm going to create. I'm going to create tons more of these uh, little panels for my conventions oh man i love it. oh they're just so like durable and I, I love them i love them i'm making one of those anyways thank you artix thank you patreon thank you viewers thank you for all the love on my last video all the positive comments i appreciate it um hope you're here next week every monday we have a new video next week we're going to talk about art trends do you follow trends do you not follow trends also i'm on cara if you guys have a cara account i'm there it's the new artist instagram twitter thingy uh another app for us to use but um i'm there Follow me there. It's just based over there. But um, yeah, thank you, Patreon. Shout out to my Patreons. This week's super Patreon is Mika Zazzle. Yo, thank you for being here, Mika Zazzle. You're a cool guy and you make nice beats. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys. Shout out to the Patreons. I will see you guys Monday. I uh, hope you guys like this. Please show some love. Uh, I'm posting these on Instagram right now. Have a good one. Peace out. Don't do drugs, stay in school. Peace out. Have a good one. Bye-bye.